Hello children, welcome to Vistas Learning. I'm Soma Pal, your EVS teacher. Vistas Learning is an online platform that provides quality education to each and every one. So, please like, subscribe and share with your friends and family because you know sharing is caring. Right. Now, do you remember in the last session we spoke about the importance of water and the scarcity of water. We are facing a lot of scarcity. What do you mean by scarcity? Shortage of water. But apart from all this, people are still polluting it. They are making the water unfit for drinking or for multiple use. Now, in today's session, we are going to study about the various ways the water is getting polluted and how can we stop it, isn't it? We shouldn't waste water. If you are not wasting water, how can we afford to pollute it? Otherwise, how will we use it? How will we sustain our life without water? Have you given a thought? All right. So let's begin our session. Okay, how does water become impure? We always say, don't drink this water. It's impure. It's not fit for drinking. Why is that so? It is because the water is not pure and not fit for drinking. You must be seeing some black or brown color water. Mummy says, please do not drink that water you will fall sick. So how can we know that the water is polluted or it is unfit for drinking? It is because the water has some dirt, soil, some any other solid thing that floats on water. Okay, it can also have germs in it, the contaminated water. The contaminated water is mostly in the drains. It is the out the wastage water, the waste water that we give out from the kitchen, from the washroom, right? So those are the contaminated water. So water is not pure and not fit for drinking. It means that it is polluted. So there are a lot of pollution, noise pollution, air pollution, water pollution. So what do you mean by pollution? Pollution is the unwanted particles or the substance present in the environment that becomes, that makes the environment unfit for us. If the air is polluted, it will be hard for us to breathe, right? If uh, it's foggy outside, it's smoke outside, it becomes difficult for us to breathe, isn't it? So the same thing, the water gets polluted, it becomes unfit for our use. So, the water may contain soil particles, dirt and small insects that may be visible. Sometimes you can see the impurities in water, but many a times you don't see the impurities. It is very, very minute. The microbes, you will see the microorganisms in it. That means dirt that comes from washing of utensils, right? When we wash the utensils, the water that comes out, do we use for any other purpose? No, that is the waste water. Clothes, pesticides, fertilizers and industrial waste makes water polluted, right? We wash the dishes with the soap and all the dirt, the food particles are there. And then the industries give out the waste water that comes through the canal and mix in the lakes, ponds, rivers. So the industries are polluting our water resources, isn't it? Now, so due to this pollution, the water is becoming unfit for our use. So this is called water pollution. So if you're asked a question, what is water pollution? You can answer, isn't it? All right. 
So, let us get ahead. Okay. You know the various sources of water, do not you? Yes. Those are the natural sources of water. So, these are the river, the water flows, is not it? Then the oceans, the vast oceans. Then we also have the large lake. You must have seen lake, the still water. Then we have certain ponds around. So, from here we can get water. Now, in here we have aquatic animals, aquatic plants. So, is it good to pollute this water resources? No, right? So, yes. So, we should take care of our water resources. If we pollute these water resources, then it will be hard for us as well as the water animals and the plants. And you don't want to harm anyone, right? Okay. Then, how do you pollute water? Yes, as I told you, we saw before, it is from the kitchen waste, the bathing, and then from the industrial waste, the water gets polluted. And yes, it depends on the humans. It depends on us that we should not pollute water. So here you can see the picture. Somewhat the water is polluted with all the garbages they throw in the water. Why do we have to throw garbage in the water and not in the garbage can? So this is a nature of humans, like you could say. Animals don't throw anything in the water. Have you seen a dog throwing trash in the water? Or a lion or tiger, do they pollute water? No, they don't. They have to drink water, right? So they drink from where? Do they open the tap and drink? No, they open, they drink from the ponds and lakes. So they depend on the natural sources of water. It is us, the humans, that are polluting water and we should stop that. Don't you think so? Okay, you must have seen people washing clothes on the river banks and sometimes on the reservoir, okay, on the steps they are uh, washing their clothes near the lakes, ponds. So what are they doing? The soap in it, it's making the water polluted. Now, if a person washes their hand in the water, will you drink that water? No, right? We'll say no, it's dirty water, isn't it? Then how can the animals drink that water? How can we drink the water? The people taking shower in the river or the lakes, they're washing their clothes, they're throwing garbage in the water. So that's not good, isn't it? So we should not pollute water. And children, you can stop it. If you see someone throwing, you should not go up front. If you have your parents, you can tell your parents, Mommy, Daddy, look, the person is throwing garbage in the water. Ask him to stop. So, we have to take a step in saving the water, which is very precious for our life. Right? Okay. And then, yes, throwing garbage. We should not do that. Right? It spoils the beauty of the nature. If you see someone throwing garbage in front of your house, will it look good? No. So, so is the nature. If you throw garbage around, the nature will not look good. It will not look beautiful. You won't be able to stay there. So, we have to keep our planet clean and it all depends on us. All right. Let's see. Now, what will happen if you drink polluted water? So, you must have heard mommy saying, don't drink that water, you will fall sick. Isn't it? Yes. So if you drink contaminated water, dirty water, you will fall sick. So the first one, disease like cholera are spread through water. So this is a very bad disease. Yes. And it spreads through water. It, if not treated properly, at time, it can lead to death. 
So cholera is a very deadly disease. So yes, to prevent ourselves, you have to not pollute water. Remember? Okay. So, and next, in case of vomiting and diarrhea, this is another kind of disease. The body loses water content, right? So if at all we ate something very bad last or maybe last night or sometimes we eat contaminated food, outside food, we tend to use the washroom number of times. We come out, again we have to go in. So in this way, multiple times visiting the washroom, your water, your body gets dehydrated. You lose water. Then what does mommy do? She gives you a glass of water, right? She mixes ORS or sometimes if you don't have that, she just mix salt and sugar in the water and she gives you. Why does she do that? Yes, to prevent your water from body from dehydration. Yes, our body needs water to live, right? Our cells, our blood needs water. So, and the patient becomes tired. So, when you tend to be sick, when you are sick, of course, then you become very tired. You don't feel like doing anything, not studying, not playing, right? Not watching TV. So, do you want to continue like that? No, certainly not, right? So, you have to take care of yourself. You have to drink ample amount of water. And in case if you are sick, with dehydration and vomiting, you should drink more water. And of course, there is a special drink with salt and sugar. So next time when you see a person getting dehydrated, you can recommend this. Why don't you drink salt and sugar water? So that would help you. <clears throat> now, yes, the next point was that as I explained. So to avoid dehydration, a mixture of salt, sugar, uh, yes, lemon also you can add to that to give a taste. Lemon juice and boiled and cooled water should be given to the patient. Okay, so you need not boil it. You can add, you can make the solution in a boiled water that is pure water and you can drink it. All right, now there are many different methods to purify water. The people, the scientists have found that they have made big plants, purification plant, water purification plant. So all the water that we are wasting, right, in the previous session you must have seen, right, the various water usage, the recycling of water. So all the water goes to the purifying plant. So that is a big confusing stage that we don't have to think about it right now. What we can think that what we can use it in our house, right? We would be using chemicals and we don't know the proportions, right? So the simple method that we can utilize in our house to purify water are these. The first one being boiling of water. So the water that you want to drink is boiled all right boiling means it has to boil properly why is it boiling point boiling of the water uh, uh, gives the purity of water so it is because the bacteria or the microbes the impurity present in the water which can't be seen in our naked eyes with our naked eyes is killed and you cool down the water and then it is ready for drinking so this is one of the effective way that you can purify water. Yes, we have the other way filtration. We can filter water. Many of us must be having filter in our house. In earlier days, we used to have filter, filter candles. We used to pour the water in the filter and then the filter uh, uh, object in that filter, it is to give up your water, but that is not that pure boiling is the best way actually so now all to avoid all this work we have RO water purifier 
most of us must be having in our house, right? In the kitchen. So the water purifier is the same thing, Aro. So it helps in both, in filtering and the boiling. So this is one form you can get water, pure water for drinking. Okay. So children, it is very important to preserve water, right? It is very precious. If you're thirsty, you won't be having an apple or a banana. You will be drinking water, right? And all the juice doesn't quench our thirst. It is the water that our body needs. So we have to take care of each and every drop of water that it is not wasted and it is not polluted. So yes, we have reached to the end of our session. So let's quickly recap what we have done today. How does water get polluted, right? You know the various methods that the water gets polluted. Then the sources of water. There are various other sources, the rain, right? The rain, if it, there is no rain, then there won't be any river, ocean, it will not be accumulated. So it is very important. The trees also plays a very important role in water, right? You know, right? Okay. Then, how do you pollute water? It is on us. How are we polluting water? Then, health risk on drinking polluted water. So, never drink polluted water. You don't want to make yourself sick. So, you should always have pure water, right? Okay, then, we also found the methods of purifying water. Some methods we have learned. There are various other methods, very tedious one that we don't know. Okay, so these are the simple purifying method that we can do in our house. Then the recycling methods, right? How can water be recycled? We did, right? Last session we did. How did we recycle water? Yes, we can recycle water by using the wastewater from the RO filter, from the AC water, right? So that we can reuse in watering plants, using in the toilet, isn't it? Yes, so that we did it in last session. Okay, so this was a quick recap for you. I hope you have followed it well. Okay. All right, children, thank you so much for watching me. So for further sessions, like, you know, if you have missed out any sessions, you can go back to v-learning.in. You will find all the videos listed there. And yes, also like and comment and share it with your friends and families because, yes, you know. And also don't forget to click the bell icon. Why? so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. You don't want to miss Soma Ma'am's video, right? So click the bell icon. So until next time, bye-bye from Soma Ma'am.